happy day. You got a house under contract. Whether you're a buyer, a seller, or a realtor, it's a happy occasion. And everyone's having a good day when you get a house under contract. So, you know, you're going through the process, everything's going well, no issues with the inspections. And oops, you hit a snafu. There's an issue with the appraisal. The value didn't come in at contracted price. Seller could be, you know, obviously upset about this, wondering why didn't my house come in at appraised value? My house is a castle. This is a beautiful home. It should have appraised. What's the problem? You know, buyers could potentially be a little excited about the possibility of getting the house for less money, or they could also be concerned about, you know, why the value came in at a lower price than the contracted price. The agents need to work it out um, and with, with both parties and, and, try and try and keep this deal together. And here's what can happen. Um, one thing that could happen is uh, one of the agents, usually the listing agent, can challenge the appraisal. They'd need to provide three comparable sales that support the sales price of the home. Um, and the lender would send that back to the appraisal management company for review and hopefully get it worked out that way. Um, another thing that could happen is the seller could agree to sell it at the appraised value. And the other option is to meet somewhere in the middle. Um, this happens sometimes and sometimes unfortunately buyers aren't in the position to bring extra cash to to make that happen and last but not least the the final option is you know cancel the contract and start all over again and nobody really wants that you know it's, it's very disappointing when a house goes out of contract and you have to start all over again whether you're a seller or a buyer um, you know hunting for that perfect person or that perfect house to to uh to secure um it's no fun when you have to start from scratch so back to one of my previous videos when you're getting ready to list your house for sale you know you really need to take those comparables into account when you're sitting down with your agent if you're sitting down with an agent that tells you that you know the highest comp is here but i can sell it here you might want to think twice about that. Um, as I said before, if there's an exception to every rule. However, you really got to look close and, and really take an honest assessment of what they're showing you versus what they're saying. Because unfortunately, um, you know, there, I hate to say it, but there are some people that just want to list your house. Um, they want to get their sign in the yard and they want to attract other buyers. And that could be their main concern. So just make sure when you are putting your house on the market, going through the comparables, you're honestly looking at those. You're taking the blinders off, taking out the taking off the rose-colored glasses, and um, taking an honest assessment of what the value of your house is. That's all I've got for now. Hope you're having a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.